What's happening, guys? It's Pooh Johnson back here <laughs> with some crazy vids. The Pooh. Today, <laughs> <laughs> we are the Beavers and Butthead of Whiskey Channel Reviews. <laughs> we are. We're so unlike any of the rest. Whiskey Channel Reviews, I said. So we review channels, not the whiskey. Oh, yeah, that's true. I think that whiskey.com is the best one I've seen. Shout out Horst Lewening, I'll do a parody. This is called Colomodu. Very bitter. Quite peaty. Very oily. That was quite mm. good. Triple distilled Irish whiskey. Have we had Irish whiskey before? I think we have. Which Jameson's one? is. That's right, then we have. I think others might be, but I know Jameson's is. We'll just get right into it. Let's see what it's like on the nose. We should also do our thing where we close our eyes and we see where we are. Oh, yeah. Because remember, Ben was like... Oh, wait, no, it wasn't Ben. It was it was that one that where they were just having an argument for, like, the first yeah, six minutes the, of the thing. The hairy bike of whiskey. Yeah. The, them guys, that guy was like, was this for that? Was that for this? Oh, no, it was for our Shantashen, which is the real... Holy shit. I, d mm. I smelled it just from, like, far away, and I, I kind of like what I smell. Can I just say, you can definitely tell this is, this smells different. This does smell like... Can you give me a lid? Where's the lid? This does smell like apple juice or something. Stop talking. What? Give me a lid. Give me a lid, Ryan. I I'm sorry for talking on this review. <laughs> on this video. I'm, I'm, can I apologise to you? Why? I'm sorry that you asked for the lid and I was just talking. It's okay. I think we can deal with this. Um... It does smell like apple juice. He's right but, when he was talking and I wasn't paying but attention. But the reason I had to interrupt you and burst out was because it does smell of apple juice. Straight up smells like alcoholic apple juice. Yeah. Don't you think? I'm going to be honest. I, I don't... Probably because wow. it is so tall, my glass. I can't actually smell any alcohol. I just get apple juice. Smells good. It's um fiery. Seems like it's going to be light. What about the colour? What would you have to say about the colour? It's not as dark as Johnny Walker Black. Nowhere near. I think not... that is like the brownest that we've had. That's, it's a li it's in between of Glen Murray and Howl and Black. Isn't yeah, it? that's a good comparison. I think, oh man, I'm so happy because I wanted to try this because it seemed different and I'm Take happy. Take the bottle. That it, it is, does seem different, doesn't it? Yeah. Wait. Look, we'll show it to the viewers. Yeah, there's... Some symbols. There's a picture of a dog pooing on another dog's head. Look, it's clearly what's happening. Or it's like pissing on his head or something. Yeah, that is the only logical explanation for these two dogs being in that mm -hmm. position. Yep. Exceptional character, Tadagan Iarakt. Ia I you, assume that's in Do you want to read any stuff? There's surprisingly little on the back. Look at all that empty space. Yeah, there's some on the side though, isn't there? Yeah. Whilst triple distillation guarantees the ultimate smoothness, aging this unique blend for many years in Oloroso sherry and old bourbon oak cask, casks brings out a character and flavour that continues to win awards year after year. The Tullamore Distillery, established in 1829, became home to a man of legendary status, Daniel E. Williams, who... Oh yeah, there is dots in between mm -hmm. the, the letters. He perfected a whiskey of exceptional quality and character and smoothness that was good enough to bear his initials, a D-E-W. So there you go. I think it's time to take a little sip and see what world it takes us to. No, I'm taking a sip now. <laughs> it's a little reference. Yeah. Thanks, Ben. Three, two, one, go. Right. Whoa. Smooth as hell. With fire. Yes. Fire in the back of the throat, smooth as hell on the tongue. I'm going in for another sip, actually, before I tell you what I Try what I just did. Because about halfway through me doing that, I was like, oh shit, I can like taste things in this. Oh, my lips are like tingling. 
Mm -hmm. I'm just role playing. I'm not actually doing it. Can I say something? What? You get the buttery. Somebody described it as like a bis buttery biscuit. Oh thing. yeah, was that this? I've got it a little bit. Definitely got it a little bit. I need a little bit more to finalise my opinion. That's what I'm saying. Do you have any thoughts? It's not, it's not got the smokiness at all. Really no smokiness. What are you defining as smokiness? It's this aftertaste of like, it tastes like smoke. Okay. Okay, I agree. I always, because my brain always thinks like smokiness is to do with that like burning at the back of your throat, but it's not. I say that's fieriness. Yeah. Which it definitely has. Yeah. So I guess, I, like, I, I guess that's spicy. That's what they would call it, right? It could be that. Wait, was this white pepper? Is this the one that they described as white pepper? Or was that Ashram Tushram? That was Ashram Tushram. Ashram Tushram. Get, don't look at my notifications. Don't look at them. Ryan, it's okay. It's not in real life. <laughs> the people watching this have no idea what I just <laughs> talked about. <laughs> a notification came up on my phone, which we were recording with, and it I came just... up like that's way further away than I thought it was going to be. It came up like here, and Ryan saw it. And he panicked, and it cause... just said like "big booty babe" uploading of a picture. Yeah, his Instagram. So it well could have been. So it smells, like, it smells, we could smell the apple. Can you taste it? I don't know. I can't. Although, wait, I need to do that swishy swishy again. Oh. It's so, f I, it's fresh. It is fresh as hell. I'm going to be honest, yeah, I get it. You know what? Since I've poured a bit too much, I'm going to do our taste this in there so I can just take the okay, two yeah. better. Yeah, I get the apple. Yeah, I understand fresh. it. It's weird. I actually understand what these weird men online say about alcoholic drinks. It's true. But, you know, I think, I think part of our brand... Is that uh, we are for the common man. Yeah. So let's embrace it. Yeah. And you take... Now, I want to see where I am when I go there. Where are you, Ryan? I'm at a pub. Right. No. I'm in a field. Anything happening in particular? Anything about the field? There's a Just... wood cabin slash little pub in. Okay. Old. I really like, to me, this is a bit more like fiery and a bit more rough than say Johnny Walker Black Label. It's more like um It's less easy going but I like I like it in that way. It's finer it's more It hits different is all I'm gonna say. I honestly don't know where I could say that it takes me. To me I think it's just there's wind on my face somewhere. There's definitely wind. It's a it's a it's a breeze. It Tullamore Dew is a breeze. There's a reason they call it Dew. It's like Dew and it's like yeah. a breeze. The place where I was like, right, this is where I feel like I could be, is um like a nightclub. I've not been to like a proper nightclub before, but oh. like that feeling of like sort of like jumping up and down. You know when you're just dancing. Mm. Like, when it's like a like a hyper song, and you're just oh. dancing on the dance floor, you're just, you're just doing a jump, because that's dancing. Oh, that's yeah. what I got. Okay. I wouldn't associate whiskey with that. Really? I would always have some, like... Sh no, I don't mean, like, that I am drinking that, but that's just where it puts me. Sure thing. Well, can... 
You know, I, I just accept that. Yeah, I mean, but I don't know what that's like, because I've never done that. Well, you've seen it in the media, maybe. Yeah, I guess it could just remind We went to that Mamma Mia thing, and that's a bit like a thing, isn't it? Yeah, but they didn't... There was no dance floor or anything. We went to that ball, didn't you, and that's like a thing. Yeah, but it wasn't very, like... It wasn't nightclub-y. It was just, like... It was a bit more proper. Didn't you say you went to one in Manchester or something? With those oh, guys? yeah, that's a good point, actually. So you did? Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. That was really fun. I would go back to one of those really? places. One of them had the way music way too loud, if but the other and, one was very fun. If you and if you and Elliot wanted to go and thought it'd be a fun idea, I'd go for mm. the sake of us all the, being the together. The second one that we went to was like a weird like they had like a proper like like a disco dance mm -hmm. floor that like lit up, but it was like whoa. I mean, it's cool. cool just because it's an environment and it's cool. There's people there, but I also just think, oh, now it's like we're talking, except we can't hear each other. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like they're very much not in that enjoyable if you're not somewhat drunk. Yeah, and I it comes back to this thing that my brain thinks where it's just like, why have we come here to just stand here? Yeah. Like, like it's the same with like parties and stuff. I'm just like, why are we just standing here? <laughs> that, anyway, that's, that's, sorry, that's a tangent. Yeah. I would just, do you think this is like a podcast really? Yeah, in a way. Should we do a little review, a little, little blind taste now? Let me finish this. I do get what you mean, that like, it feels breezy. Yeah, it's light in a way. It's light, but it's got that kick. Yeah. I say it's who's going first for the taste test. By the way, guys, we're doing a blind taste test between we have three whiskeys: Tullamore Dew, Glen Murray, and Highland, Highland Black. Black. Three. We we don't know which one we're having. Yeah, I'm gonna decide his order. He'll decide mine. Yeah, well, just a tiny sip, like a sip. Each. Yeah, yeah. Sippy, sippy, sip. I don't really know if the stone does anything to us, but it's fun. To I have. think it makes mine colder. I think I can tell. Okay, it's a fun thing to have. Yeah, add some. Who's going first? You go first, because I've still got some. You mean you do yours first? No, as in, I'll pour yours first. Okay, so I'm going... He's going blind mode. Just yeah. just talk while I do it. So, um... Hold on, hold on, Ethan. Okay. Can I just say something? Yeah. You should place the Tullamore Dew on there, and then if you're going to win, you... Because otherwise I know that you didn't get it to pour from the Tullamore That's Dew. so true. Where the fuck is the Tullamore Oh, it's there. So just put it, put them all next to each other. Um, so <laughs> I am being held hostage right now, <laughs> which is why I look like this. And viewers, do you like Tullamore Dew? Do you find our videos entertaining? And what can we do to improve our videos? Yeah, I've got to breathe a bit. Sounds a bit uh, light hearted to me. Light hearted, a bit lightweight. Sorry, that's what I mean. Why? Why isn't it possible? It's just not. <laughs> Do you want me to get you like some water so you can palate cleanse? Uh, yeah, good. Well, what, what are we gonna put it in there? No, just we'll 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 clean. Yeah, we'll we'll <laughs> <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll wash out that thing yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. with water each time. Yeah, right. I'll go fill your little thing up with water. So. Viewers, have you played Grandia? If so, did you like it? Because I prefer Grandia too. The reason I bring this up is that we've got a a, a sticker of it here. Ethan? Ethan, what time is it? Um, let me check. Let me look at my pocket watch. Ten to eight. Cool. Right. I'm gonna just hand you water. What? There's quite a bit, so. Oh, you shouldn't have given me loads. Yeah, I realise that I have to pour it. Mm. Alright, that'll do. Oh, cheers, sir. Right. Do you like water? 
I've grown into it. The summer over the past like like five months. I just get phases of just like because when I'm at yours, I will I'll just drink lots of water, won't I? Yeah, or tea. Yeah, I go through phases of just I crave water, and just the look of water to me will make me feel good. Do you ever just look at clean water? Yeah. Cup? Right. It's just like wow. are you blind? Right. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna pour your first. I'm gonna. I'll put it in front of the camera so they know what your first is. Yeah, I shouldn't even look at it, should Because I'll tell from the look. Yeah. Should have complete mm. blindness. Right, so... This... There, go back. This one is Ryan's first. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Ethan, are you at all drunk from what you've already had? Uh, I don't think so. Well, not drunk, but tipsy. I don't think so. I've not had much at all. Right. So you've got a very small amount in here. Okay. That's Ryan's first. Oh, I can't wait. Can you, are you going to give thoughts on maybe what you think it is as you're doing them? Um, and I, I won't tell you whether you're right or wrong, as in. You just say like, oh, I was going to just say, well, I'm just going to blast them all out at the end. Okay, okay, okay. What do you think's better? I'll do it, I'll do it at the end. Because when I've had all three, I might change my mind. That's true. Very thrilling video of blind man drinks <laughs> whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> what? What you said. Okay. Okay. Interesting. You've got an opinion? I tell you what. Interesting. Okay. I do have an opinion. Okay. Okay, let me go wash this. Mmm. Interesting, viewers. Slightly peaty, slightly smoky aftertaste. And it's also quite sweet. Mmm. <laughs> Inter you know what, that was interesting. I heard you say the words PT when I was out. Yep, right. PT There's a small amount, a way less amount of water yeah. in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, your next one. Mm -hmm. It's good, right? Because Wait, sure, sure, go ahead. Okay. What was you going to say? It's good, right? Because when I was like... Um, My brain's not working. Fucking electric yellow got me by the brain mm. bananas. This is Ryan's second, okay? Okay, I was going to say something. Go on. Question. Mm -hmm. Do you plan to use all three? Or are you going to do like a trick thing where you do... No, I'm going to use all three. Okay, I because I think that that's probably better. Because I did think to myself, wouldn't it be interesting if we did like... Oh, and you're expecting it to be a different one. Like like one of us say, okay, I think that one was Glen Murray, that one was uh, Helen Black, and that one was Tom or Jew. And but then you say two of them were the same. No, and then you say like all three of them were Tom or Jew. Oh, <laughs> wouldn't that be interesting? That would be. But but then again, it wouldn't it wouldn't work because the to... point is that we're comparing them. Yeah. Okay. Um, what I was gonna say was, I'm glad that none of them are corked, because then we would know. I thought Glen Murray was corked. No. Is it not? No, it's not. I'm looking at it now. Is it not? No. Which one was corked? Um, was Johnny Walker, wasn't it? No. I'm sure one of them was corked. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Right, from the taste, I already think I already know what I think it is. Okay. Wait, have you tasted it? No, from the smell, I mean, from the sip. Have you got an opinion? Yep, I know what that one is. Okay, that's good. Sorry. The last one. Okay, I'm I'm fairly certain what I think the first one was. Okay. 
But when I taste the last one, that should be conclusive as to which one it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Walk the time. Mm -hmm. Interesting viewers. Water. Wait, question. Mm -hmm. Did you drink any Glen Marais like the other day? No. Oh. Well, you see, I the Did night you... before you came last time. Yeah. I had a little sip of Glen Marais. Right. So it's more fresh in your memory. So do you? Mm, what do you think? Do you think you should have a little bit? Of Glen no, no, no. I, I think it's okay. Did you have any Highland Black last time? I don't think I'd... I had I some. can't... I think I did. I had some Highland Black right before I, we tried Thingy. We did. We, we we did. Did we compare it on the thing? No. We, we, did, we, we did it on the video. No, On the didn't. Johnny Walker video. No, we didn't. I think we did. I don't think we did. Because okay. I, I think... think I think that... Um, I think we compared them, like, like verbally, but we didn't try them, is what I mean. Um, I think we did. What if... Right. What if I told you, like... All right. <laughs> this one is... Your whiskey number three, and it was actually just water. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine it. And you're like, hmm, yeah. it's got the oaky notes. But I think we did, because I remember saying that I preferred Johnny Walker. Anyway, okay, right. It's my opinion. I think I did. Okay. Or maybe just I didn't, you didn't. And this one is Ryan's number three. Let me pour it. I'm so careful, <laughs> Not get this is such a fun game. Not to get loads. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we only want a little sip. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! Ryan's gone mad. I wanna. I don't usually get hiccups, do I? That's true. I usually get them. You usually do. I wonder if it's because of eating or because or I had loads of that water or something. Mm. It's, it's because my food ain't settled, I think. Gotta take a deep breath before I have this one. Talk about something. What did you do yesterday? Anything good? What did I do yesterday? Uh, I was at work for some of it. I played a little bit of a challenge run. I've been doing an Elden Ring, which is uh, like a bow and arrow only run. And I played quite a lot of it a while back. And then I, I just gave up on like the last two bosses. And I did one of those bosses yesterday. Interesting. And I watched uh, Encanto. Mm-hmm. Evie says she'll check out Howl. Sorry to interrupt. I say everyone check out Howl by Allen Ginsberg. Even though he was perhaps a pederast. A what? He was, I think he was a... Oh, he's a, a pedophile. Oh. Oops. I think he was cool about it, though. <laughs> That's hard. That's hard. Why has it changed an earlier one? No. <laughs> the camera's not like directly centered on you, so it's just <laughs> you at the side of the screen with your hat over your fucking eyes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Has it challenged a previous conception of what you thought one was? Is that why you like this? I know what the second one is, but the first and the third are getting mixed up. Okay. <laughs> Look here. <laughs> this is the weirdest video anyone's ever made. Uh, it looks like you're about to go alone. <laughs> oh, it's hard. Do you okay. have a, do you have any definites? I won't say yes, whether yes the I, second one. Okay, what do you think that one is? I won't I won't say either way. Uh, I'll say them all in order. Okay, okay. Oh god, I'm switchy. Ah. 
All right, I'll say this. Okay. First, I'll just say this. Glen Murray, Tullamore Dew, Highland Black. Those are the three whiskies we've got, yeah. And that's the order? That's the order. Do you want to know the answer? Yeah. So what was yours? Glen Murray, Tullamore, Tullamore Dew, not Tullamore Black, whatever that is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Glen Murray, Tullamore Dew, Highland Black. Okay. I can tell you got one right. Yeah. It, it, the last one was Glen Murray, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you know, I realised as soon as you said... Yep. That it's corked. It is corked. Yeah. I should have got... I should have... I had to remove that while we were, like, laughing. And I... I should have I, used that as my clue. I uns... No, I unscrewed this one on the last one. Oh, uh, yeah. Because I'd already taken that out. So that you would think... Interesting. That it's not corked. Because I don't want to give it away. Interesting. Um... So I wonder if... Because it's recent... Or because Highland Black and Glen Murray might be similar. I'll tell you the reason. Okay, go on. They both are smoky. Right, okay. Right. You'll know what I mean, because when you have them, if you exhale through your nose, <laughs> you can feel it. The f that you can feel the heat. It just tastes like smoke. You right, just what, taste it. what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew all of them. So that way you don't have to do... Yeah. A secret on corking. Okay. Okay. Uh, where's my... Oh, it's there. That's interesting. interesting. That's the key word of the day. Interesting. So the last one was Glen Marie. Yeah. Yeah, because I ordered them as I went through. I should have known that because I said that the, f the first one was sweet. And I, I think... Glen Marie isn't sweet... Alan Black is sweet. Right, okay. This is I good, be sorry, this this is good tips, because I don't remember what any of them fucking tastes like other yeah. than Tullamore. Do, Do you want the water? Yeah, please. Alright. What if I rinse this out put water in it? Hmm? What if I rinse this out and put water in it so I don't have to keep coming back? Oh yeah, that's a good idea, actually. We're back on it. Back on the daily grind. Elliot's not here yet. It's five past eight, but he's not here yet. Sorry, I'm just looking at my emails. Not a very interesting bit to entertain the masses, but, uh, you know, this is what I do in my spare time. Hey. Hey, are you doing it? Yeah. Give us the water a second. Yeah. Just have a little bit, because I didn't pour out a load. <sighs> hey, did you enjoy that, viewers? Mmm. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, I need to be able to nose it, don't I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. You prepared? <clears throat> yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready, viewers? This is going to be a load of fun. Interesting. Thank you. Thanks. Have you shown the viewers what the first one is? Oh. What, should I show them the bottle? Yeah, that's what I was doing. Alright. Right, viewers. 
Right, Ethan, do you want to know who's that? Sounds like a good gun. What are you getting? I know immediately which one this is. Do you? Yeah. Interesting. I, I, I mean, I think I know. Interesting. Hmm. That's not what I was expecting. Mm, what are you getting? There's definitely fire to it. Mm. So I think I think I know that it's not one of them. But the one that I thought it was initially, I don't think tastes like this. Interesting. It wasn't too much for you, was it? I'm struggling to get it out. <laughs> Still got a tiny bit left. Maybe it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Do you think I should wash out the cup? I mean, I was. Okay, then I'll do that. Okay. I'll have some water. Ugh. I have my opinions about that one. I think it's definitely not one of them, and the one that I thought it was immediately, I don't think it tastes like that. From the smell, I thought it was a different one, but... Was it pleasant? I mean, yeah. Interesting. I'm quite excited. Yeah, an exciting journey. Yeah. Um, should we have a little song that we play when this is happening? What, this, like, intro? Like an intro segment? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you gonna do it? It's the Blind Whiskey Review that we're gonna try. We've got three whiskeys and we're also blind. And we aren't sure which one we're going to try. But my friend will choose... He knows that. that. He knows it. Okay. I can definitely tell the difference between the last one and this. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling. <laughs> I have a feeling I know which one this is. Interesting. But I said that about the last time when I when I sipped it. Uh, but then when I taste it. They might be different. To me, it's all down to the last one because the last one could totally mess up your system. What are we thinking? That's got no fire to it at all. Huh. Yeah. Well, I didn't get any. Like, I didn't get any burniness mm -hmm. on the throat. Which is strange, because the one that I immediately thought it was from the nose does have a burn. Hmm. Is it pleasant? Yeah. Pleasant. Is it more pleasant than the last one, or less pleasant? I think for myself it's more pleasant, simply because um, I'm not a huge fan of the burning at the back of the throat. Interesting. I'm going to give me that glass and I'll go change it while you have any thoughts. Okay. Okay, yeah, it'll all come, it'll all come down to this last one. Because so far, it's between two for the first one, it's between two for this one. Because my nose is saying one thing, but then the taste is saying another thing. This is hard. It is. Because, right, I said it to them. My nose is saying one thing. Oh, I've got the water. My nose is saying one thing, but my taste is saying another mm -hmm. for each of them. Do you follow your nose or follow your tongue? Mm. Well, 
my god, having water like after them is so nice. Yeah. Like the water's so like, oh wow, this tastes like fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've got the last one. Yep. Okay. Keep nose at that. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I have no preconceptions on what this is. What did it smell like? Okay, so it doesn't... Okay. What's so... it like in comparison to the other two? So the first one, I thought had the, the like, apple juice flavours. Which the one? Apple juice... Which one was that? The first one. Okay. Had apple juice notes like uh, Tullamore Dew. The second one, I could smell the alcohol in it, like... And pretty much just that. Ah. But this, I can smell something, but it's not alcohol and it's not like a fruit. Interesting. So I have no idea, like what the fl the flavour that I'm smelling is. But I guess I guess I'll. I need to burp. Is that like? How's that? What's that like compared to the other two? So this also has no fire, which is strange because I thought it was only one that had no fire to it. But I guess I've not had Glamoury in so long. Huh. So maybe that doesn't. But... Are you getting any identifications of smokiness in any of them? You know, I didn't look for that. I only looked for that on the first one and then I completely forgot about it for the second one. If you drink it and then exhale through your nose, you get it. You got a lot linger. It's still lingering, but... I mean, a little bit on this one. It's a bit warm in my nose, but not much. You ready to give any verdicts, any opinions on what you think was which? Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. So I'd like to say, can I can I rank my favourites? Go ahead, like from, yeah, rank them. From, from my least favourite to favourite, right? It goes, it actually goes one, two, three. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So you like the first one the most, the no, second one? No, fr from least to most. First one the least, third the best. Interesting. Um, are you giving any verdicts? <clears throat> oh, God. So, right, I need to think about which one was which. Um, so I think it was... Oh, fuck. I think Tullamore Dew. Okay. Glen Murray Highland Black. Interesting. Do you want to say what it was? Glen Murray Tullamore Dew, Highland Black. Right. So it was Highland Black you identified. That's crazy. Can I tell you what it surprised me most about you, what you said? What? When we both did our first review, we agreed that Tullamore Dew did have fire, but when you tried it, it this didn't. time it didn't. I wonder if that's because you've been just having it more, or maybe you've been having maybe, more. Or maybe it was because Glen Murray had more, and then the next time I had Tullamore Dew, ah. it, it felt like less. Interesting. That's so crazy. The, because I, Interesting. I swear that I smelled the Glen Murray and I was like, that's apple juice. But yeah. it was between Glen yeah. Murray and... Tullamore Dew on my first one, and then on my second one, it was between Highland Black and Glenmore. Yeah, that's interesting that you said the, the Glenmore was the apple one, not the Tullamore Dew. Yeah, I could smell just m way more alcohol in the Tullamore Dew one than either of the others. Yeah, and so that was my it. that was what like why my brain was like, oh, that's Glenmore. We learned a valuable lesson today. Yeah, which is that whiskeys change flavor all the time. Yeah, depending Every on whether sip. you can see them or not. It's like Schrodinger's whiskey. And that's the reason why whiskey's great. It's because it's different with every sip. It's in a story. The yeah. bottle is a story. Yeah, depending on the context in which you have it, you're going you're gonna to experience different outcomes. Are we? Did you enjoy your experience overall? Are yeah. you surprised that you did not identify any of them? I got Highland Black. Yeah, I didn't get Highland Black, did I? To me... Right, so which one did you mix up? You mixed up Tullamore Dew and Glen Murray. To me, by a long shot, the Tullamore Dew is the most identified. It's a standout. To me, the Glen Murray and the Highland Black have the smokiness. 
that's identifiable. And Tullamore Dew, this is how I see it. Halloween Black, sweet and smoky. Okay, yeah, I get sweet. Tullamore Dew, light, fiery, and uh, fruity. a little bit fruity. Glen Murray is the most, like, smoky. The, this is gasoline. Yeah, but okay. in a fun way. <laughs> so it was the smokiness that I couldn't decide because of the Glen Murray right. and the Halloween Black. So that's interesting that you were mixed up with yeah. ones that I consider to Although be a I specifically was, standout one. I didn't have a proper like search for the smokiness of Tullamore Dew, but I guess I like it doesn't have any smoke. So maybe that it would doesn't. have identified it to me. Because I could tell with the first one that there was smoke. I could tell with the second one that there was smoke. Mm -hmm. the, the third one that there was smoke. Interesting. So clearly that was Glen Murray and Highland Black in some combination. So I should have known that the first one was probably Tullamore. Interesting. Now let's ah. see what this is like with ginger beer, should we? Because yeah, I think oh. it's a decent mixer. Let me... Uh... Pass me a honk of that bobo. <laughs> <laughs> How much percent... Oh, I need um whisk, I mean. Sorry. Yeah, uh, which one? Tullamore. Tullamore juice. How many percent what? What percent... Like, what is the ratio that you should have... Of the ginger beer. Oh, to mix it to spirit. Yeah. I hear it's like. Wait. So what is a shot? A shot is like. Is it that? No. Surprisingly, I always used to think that it was. Um. Here's a. Hold on. So. What is your ranking between Howland Black? Glen Murray and Tullamore Dew again. Which one's your favourite? Which one's your least favourite? One, two, three. So Glen, Mur Glen Murray was my least to Highland Black, which is my most. Which is how I would rank them just by memory. To me. To you. <laughs> right, here's, here's my logic. Mm. I distinguish less on my own sensibilities and more so on distinguishableness. Do you know what I mean? No. Is that Explain a word? yourself. Is that a word? I know what you mean by it. Distinguishability. Okay. So, Tom or Jew... Not to repeat myself, but where's the lid? For which one? Is that it? Yeah. To me, Tom or Jew is the most distinguishable of all three. Okay. Therefore, in my mind, in the way my brain works... It's the best. It's kind of the best, because... But that's not, that's not to say... I actually... I like them all. Right. Uh, but I want to go Tullamore Dew is my favourite just because it's... Does that make sense to you? Yeah, because it's logic? different. Therefore, and it's, I think it's also different to any whiskey we've ever had. Because it is different, it is therefore like standout, so it should be considered better. So at this moment, I yeah. want to consider it the best. However, it doesn't have smokiness, which I do like. Ooh. Ooh. But... It's different. So. Highland Black is definitely one of my favourites. I can get that. It was. It's one of both of our favourites. Yeah. Do you prefer Johnny Walker Black Label or Highland Dew? You mean Highland Black? Highland Black. Um, Johnny Walker. By it's slight. Tasty. It's so tasty. It's like yeah. a cake that you can't stop eating. Or something. Yeah. So do you think me just having this is a good amount or is that... How much whiskey did you put in? There was not. Too oh, much. Can be fine. So I, I always think when you are mixing to taste like a one to five ratio. So like five times as much as this as, as that. So that's why I uh, off the that. bat, this totally works for me. What say you? That is really good. It totally works. It blends like seamlessly. Together. Yeah. It's not just like, okay, now I can taste this and I can taste that. Yeah, it's it not like right, just... this is Coke and this is whiskey. It's this is a drink. That's. I'm glad we did this. <coughs> <coughs> it's strange though. I think it's the ginger that makes me do this. It... When I like go to suck in, like before it reaches my lips, I get that like, like <coughs> near the back of my throat. It's got this very unusual taste that I like. It's like the butteriness of the Tullamore Dew mixed in with the ginger. 
It's like a ginger cake. It's light. It's creamy. Fluffy. It's fiery. I kind of get what you mean. There is a taste back there, but I don't feel like I could feel like I, I can taste the butteriness. To me, it kind of ends up it ends up being like a gingerbread. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it make me cough so much? Because there's the biscuitiness and the butteriness of the Tullamore Dew mixed in with the ginger. You get gingerbread man biscuits. Do you relate? Are you not agreeing? What do you have to say? Since you've got a different ratio going on, haven't you? That's true. Can I have a little sip of your ratio? Yeah, okay. Let's see what your ratio is like. <coughs> yeah. That's the one. Is that different to yours? Mine was maybe a little bit more alcoholic. Okay. But it's still the thing. Do you relate to the creaminess that it creates? Yes, creamy, yes, I get it. Can you believe we've done like 40 minutes of this bullshit? Really? 40 Holy odd, 50 fuck. minutes. It's a podcast. We do a podcast, whiskey podcast. Whiskey podcast. Yeah, that's really good. I uh, just want to shout out Fentimans 1905. I really thought they were a more recent brand, to be perfectly honest. And it's botanically brewed classic ginger beer, which means something. Should we see what they have to say? This is now also a ginger beer review. Mm -hmm. They've got no cool information about this, other than that it's exquisitely crafted. Mm -hmm. And it has fermented... Herbal extracts. Whoa! It's been gangster. It's been gangster. It says to upend before pouring, so we should have upended it. Which I think means turn upside down. Bye.